It's finally time to bring back the Road to Supersonic Legend in 2024, and I wanted to make sure I did it right. But I thought, what is better than a Road to Supersonic Legend? Two Roads to Supersonic Legend. That's right, this season, instead of running the Road to SSL in 2v2 or 3v3, I'm doing both at the same time. So we'll get a nice variety of games throughout the season. I'm going to be queuing both until we get SSL in one of the ranks. And this year, I'll be trying to focus more on where I'm positioning and why, and discuss what I'm thinking as much as possible. I'm not going to lie, this first episode is kind of a mess, but it wouldn't be a Road to SSL without a little bit of this. Oh, we're really down there, aren't we? <laughs> He's going to try and make another touch. He actually hits it back to the uh, the net. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> As always, we start off the episode with making the meme of the day. So be sure to comment your funniest ideas for names and pictures of Rocket League players. We're starting it off with a bang. We've got one Zent, which is Zen on a penny. This should be a good one. Let's get right into it. Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but I've got a penny here and I've got Zen. So I think the first thing I want to do is remove all the background from Zen and then probably uh, turn him into a penny somehow. <laughs> I have no idea how. Okay, so I've cut out Zen here and we've got Abe looking the other way. So let me grab Zen, flip him around. I hope this isn't like defacing currency. Am I? Is this illegal? Am I okay? Okay, so we have him uh, kind of cut out a little bit. I'm going to fix up his hair a little bit. <laughs> Let's see what happens here if I remove a part of... What if I say remove head? AI has gotten really crazy. Generative fill, remove head. <laughs> what is that? Oh, God. These are all horrible. Okay, never mind. Let's do a quick color over with... I believe we do blending options and we do color overlay. Maybe like select like one of these colors. Okay, and then what I could do to make this look a little bit more real is I could add some filters. And I think if I go to stylize and oil paint, that looks a little cursed. What does that do to him? That sort of works. I kind of don't mind it. I think I want to create like in Zen we trust. Okay, it's going to be hard to recreate the letters to be like these, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I think I cooked here. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is pretty interesting. I got the text as close as I could. I couldn't get like the bubbly letters, but I think it looks better that it actually kind of stands out a little more. So, yeah, not bad. There it is. There's the first one of the series. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. Um, I love making these. They're a lot of fun. All right. We have the very first game of the road to SSL. Um, we are Carball Tube Man for this, uh, for this season. Um, and uh, we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to be explaining my thoughts and also playing to the level that we are playing at, as always. That's kind of how we go. Uh, so the ball's in the corner here. We're going to see how the uh, the opponent comes at it. They do challenge pretty early. I see my teammate going into the corner, so I'm just going to wait behind them near the net. I see now they go up the field. And it gets cut off immediately. You just always want to like change your momentum based on where the, the opponents are. It definitely seems like a lot of these players are pretty experienced with moving their car around. So you can just let them kind of like chase the ball around. I just try to stay behind it. When you're first starting off this game, I mean, probably a lot of you aren't even starting off at this game anymore. It's more people that are trying to improve later on, which is totally fine. But if you are new, um, getting used to the, the speed of your car, how you flip and the momentum you get from that is super, super important. But these starting uh, uh, games are always really interesting. This is in front of our net. It's a little scary. But I'm always just trying to track the ball and get behind it. So they cut it off. The second they cut it off, I'm just going to back off. Good try from Eloquence. A little scary. He does get a bump on me. See my teammates trying to go for it. So uh, he was near me. I probably could have went for the ball anyway. And a lot of people at this rank, they probably will just chase the ball down. So right here, I, I saw him turn into it. I thought he was going to make make a touch, but he went past the ball, which is totally fine. Just didn't read that my teammate was doing that. So what's really interesting about new accounts is that the game is trying actively to uh, place or try to figure out where to place you. So I'm just pop this up. You might get this. Okay, good try. I was still, I was probably just already too much, <laughs> too much sauce at the start here. Um, but the reason why that pops so high is because I'm jumping under the ball after the bounce. No one seems to be like really flipping on the kickoff, so I'm just gonna do um, what everyone else is doing. The reason why that I won that kickoff is because I jumped to the last second. They didn't, so they were under the ball. Oh, I like to try on that. So we'll chase the corner down. Let's see what Husky does. He's turning on the wall. That's a good touch from the opponent, too. It's a little scary for me to go because I'm last. I'm just going to wait. This could be a good sh shot opportunity. Stay close here. Looks like my teammate wants it. Totally fine. Honestly, it's better just to space out and let them do that. I know that it gets 
it can be annoying later on when people are cutting you off and trying to take the ball, but just don't be that player. That's a, a chance to shoot it and we take it. So the, the reason why I'm just sitting there in mid, I don't want to keep accelerating. Try to hold your, your speed. I'm kind of sitting there trying to read what's going on and then sitting with the ball. Now, usually I try not to score at the early season um, and see this guy wants to go. It's not bad. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try and play. And once again, see my teammate went over me. Totally fine. I'm just going to sit back and just try to get a read on him. The biggest thing here is we have, we have to, we have to see what's going to happen before we can, you know, flip because flipping commits yourself up like usually a quarter or more of the field. You can see here when I jump and flip, I like jump an entire quarter of the field. So you gotta be really careful when you do flip that you know you can. Um, and that's actually a mistake that people even make like pretty high level. Um, they'll flip way more than they should be. Now you can see this ball is bouncing. It could be tough to read, but as long as you give yourself space, you can just kind of drive with the ball. Even if your teammate barrels into you like that. So these guys are definitely moving pretty fast. But like I said, this is like probably gold. You can see Eloquent's actually 91 ELO. That's pretty low. I, I don't even know. That's interesting. This guy is flying off the wall. Hits it into the wall again. I'm just gonna wait for this. A little scary. Like it might bounce. Oh. It might bounce near the near the goal, which is totally fine. It's just gonna stay behind it. That's a good bump from them. Ow. Good 50. And nice shot. I was trying not to like take that in case. Uh, like that was a bad 50 from my teammate. Um, that kind of spilled back in the mid right here over my head. And like obviously I could have reached it. But it was a great opportunity for them to get a good 50 and go for it. And I think if we do lose a couple games here, it will the, 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 the level of play will like go down. But like I said, I think a lot of you nowadays in the road to SSL are kind of looking for the higher level um, sort of play style and how to like improve. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to know like at this level. I mean, this is like definitely very slow. But mostly at this rank, if, if you're struggling down at this rank and and, and Shannon, Shannon's kind of at this rank, my, my fiance, she's... She's at um like gold ish to silver. Great shot opportunity there from them. Um, the biggest thing I've noticed is that people just like to chase the ball no matter what. Like he's gonna probably turn on this. Yes, yeah, so here he comes. I'm right here. It doesn't even matter. He's just gonna go. It's a. This could be like a big thing that just anyone could improve on. Is just spacing out. Like give the, give your teammates some breathing room. Like everyone wants to complain to their teammates on the ball, but I think half the time you're the problem as well because you're also just trying to be on the ball. Oh, yep. That works. But the game's pretty even. There's been some opportunities for them. I feel like their rotations are a lot better than ours. I feel like our our, our rotations are more kind of messy and just kind of chasing the ball down, which is totally fine, but I just don't want to be that player that, um, that ends up on the wall or ends up on the ball with my teammate. I'm going to try and flip this forward. He's probably going to turn on this. He's probably going to go full barrel in. Yep. It's kind of like clockwork. Oh. So it's interesting because, like, he obviously is making a pass there. And I say obviously, but he's, he is hitting the ball. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's insane, actually. It's like, I'm just going to keep doing this and see if, like, he wants, he's going to go for it. Oh. I get the save. I'm going to time the ball there. Oh, maybe this could be a good opportunity for them. Can they score it? Oh, good try. We got double up. I'm not sure what that means. Might be like my first 2v2 game or something, but we do get 38 points. Now the thing is with early season or early account uh, rank ups, we're gonna get a lot more points than you usually would for winning. But I don't know if that's a problem because at this rank, like you really just need to play the game more. The more hours you put in the game, the better you, you will become mechanically and the better you can move around the field. So we can see here, everybody's a lot lower MMR in this lobby. We got 412 and it looks like they've been playing together. So they, they're like a duo that plays together all the time. Um, so we're gonna see what they do at 400. It's a good clear down the field. My teammate's kind of scared, but it's against the wall. So once you see the ball going towards the wall, it's totally fine. I'm gonna sit behind this. And like, even if he makes the shot, it's off target because it's in a bad spot. And maybe Alex can finish it. Great finish there. Well done from Alex. Yeah, so that was all from them barreling in, uh, not really thinking about what their touch was going to do. If the ball's too tight against the wall, there's a lot more things you can do, like pop the ball. You can put it against the wall, uh, like up the ramp. So it kind of ramps up in front of the goal. And we'll, we'll, I'll show like, you know, different things where, where there's a certain opportunities and I kind of like, oh no. Oh, we're really down there, aren't we? <laughs> That's tough. 
a lot of times too and i've noticed this even with me and foots playing some challenges against diamond level players people struggle when they're going backwards and also when the ball's in the air they kind of try to go for the ball or aerial when they're not comfortable where a lot of the times unless the ball's on target you can just wait on the ground if you watch ssl level gameplay uh, you'll see a lot of players just wait on the ground and try to catch the ball um, a lot of the times but here if the ball's not in a good shootable position we can put it against the wall and once again like here the guy's going for it so i'm just gonna back off and i know that last season i did the road to ssl we did have a lot of players or a lot of viewers talking about how i am playing too smart for the rank but the whole point of this is to show that you can like even though i'm moving very very slow i'm kind of just positioning myself very differently and the perspective of the game changes dramatically when you are not the player just chasing the ball it doesn't feel so chaotic back here like look how calm it is i'm just sitting here not, nothing is urgent at this rank we're just waiting we're just seeing what's happening like totally fine i mean obviously i'm not really getting involved at all that's a great chip down the field might almost almost be in as well oh boy oh here your teammate you want it go ahead there we go maybe finish close i'm gonna tap this off the wall and look how much that throws people off just like going off target oh no <laughs> i think we move on skip it skip it everybody skip it skip it skip it and i don't i don't know how new people are i'm, I'm assuming if you're watching a road to ssl you're probably gonna be higher rank than the very start of the game like this isn't really the series to like i mean i've done some series in the past and those were definitely a lot more groundwork stuff like the, my first ever road to ssl i started from the controls all the way to your camera settings and everything at this point i feel like most people that are playing rocket league nowadays are, are pretty well versed in that and if you do not know anything with the basic basics of rocket league i'm talking about like absolute like ground zero of rocket league you can go and watch the first couple episodes of my first road to ssl meanwhile if you're still at this kind of rank and you're struggling and you've watched the previous road to ssls it really just takes a lot more time to grind the game and just try to change up your mentality about where you're positioning like even though this is like on target look how how little control they have to go for the uh to go to go on target so like you don't have to panic and like also make a mistake just take your time just take a look at where the ball is great shot for my teammate and uh yeah we've like honestly i've done barely anything but i've let my teammate do a lot of the work and we've been rewarded for it i'm not gonna say that always works because sometimes you just have teammates that chase the ball and they just don't hit the ball at all they're kind of kind of a mess but you just move on also as you play with new teammates or new uh new teammates and against new opponents just take your time to get an understanding of how they like to play like the first guy we had was not as uh ch was more chasey than this guy like this guy actually kind of positions a little bit wider to like try and pop it towards the net but he still positions like oh he's backing up a decent shot should be a save though so i think that majority of people at this rank they like can drive around and like he's trying to line it up great shot so people like struggle with the bounces and what i've told uh shannon is that she just she's been doing a lot more training like just custom training where the ball is bouncing or is is up off the ground and she tries to time catching the ball or, or lining up her speed with the ball that way she can Going on, we park of the bus. Oh, we traded places. Go ahead. I had to take him out. Is that in again? Great shot. I'll, I'll stay in net, Alex. I got you. Why did he leave the second I went in net? That was so funny. This guy at 203 MMR is not even that bad. I feel like he's playing better than the opponents. Oh. Like, this is scary to go for. And I think a lot of you guys at this rank, if you are at this rank, you would go for that. Your last man there. Oh, that's a 50 to the net. Oh, boy. Um, your last man there. And so, like, any bad touch or any bad 50 50 just ends up being uh, really bad for you because you're overcommitted. The ball bounced off the backboard and then it immediately goes down the field. And that's going to be, that's going to translate down, down the ranks or up the ranks, I guess. Like, just taking bad 50s or taking bad shots. The level of complication like at the level of ssl is like really high because as you get higher people are expecting shots on target they're expecting certain certain types of shots so sometimes not going for that shot specifically 
is um, I'm playing way too. What am I doing? I'm playing way too mechanical. Oh, what a save! Um, like sometimes not going for certain shots is better. All right. So my teammate like really carried me there. I kind of just let him do his thing. I, I kind of pulled a little bit more out of my hat than I should have that game. But I feel like these games are more just kind of just positioning nicely, just staying patient, staying back and just getting a read on the game. We've already gone up nearly 100 MMR and we haven't gotten a 3v3 game yet. Um, so this guy's actually like actually bronze. This, these guys didn't have a rank for some reason. I guess they started at 600 and they've been deranking for losing. Um, we got a 3v3 game though. So we'll have to see how, the, how this changes in pace from a starting account. All right, so I'm gonna stay back with my teammate here. I could move up if he's defending, which is totally fine. I'm gonna try and get a read on what they're doing. Well, I hit into the wall. I'm just gonna sit in mid, see what happens. They're both on the ball now, so I'm gonna move back behind my teammate. He's actually full on defending. Um, Go ahead, buddy. I'm behind you. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm defending too, buddy. <laughs> okay, there we go. What? A, okay, that's a good touch. By the way, at later ranks, people don't really do dedicated rolls like that. So that's not really a thing you should be going for. I'm going to like flip at this. I'm not going to hit it, but that's like a decent try. So you can pop down the field. And immediately when I see the ball bouncing in, into mid like this, I'm just going to go back to net. And my teammate ended up pinching it with the guy, but they had a good shot opportunity. What I could have done there is instead, instead of flipping all the way out there, I could have went right for the ball, but my teammate did miss and kind of filled that position. That's all good. I'm going to stay back here. So both my teammates get beat. I'm going to take the boost. And if you're not comfortable going up the wall here, you can just wait on the, the, the ground. The ball is tight against the wall. There's not very many opportunities for the players to really make anything happen. So you can just wait. Same here. He's going to backflip. He missed. That's totally fine. I'm going to move up with this guy. Good try on the shot. I'm not going to really involve myself too much. I'm just going to play good positioning. That's a good pass back. That was a good pass, and he ended up wanting to take it himself. And my teammate also came in, so I'm not going to go in with them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's getting dicey. Nice. Okay, I'm going to stay with this here. So a player cut his teammate off, which is totally fine. This ball is spilling out, and people might not time this properly. We're going to be a little bit careful. And I am still last because my teammates are still chasing it. So maybe I don't want to push up yet. I see my teammate wants to go back for boost now. So I'm going to go for this early. And then I'll move behind my teammates again. Both of them went. It's a good try. I still am last. That touch does give away possession. I see him at the wall. And as you can see, both my teammates want to go for it again. So I'm going to just move back again. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going in. Is that the wall? to pop in a mid. Someone should be saving this. Good save from them. I'm going to move behind my teammates so I don't confuse them. It looks like Rodri has stopped moving. Oh, hello. I'm going to go around him with the flip and just wait to see what happens in the corner again. Oh. Great save from Living Cannon. He's going to try and make another touch. He actually hits it back to the, uh, the net. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> it's incredible. I haven't seen a goal like that in a long time. That's that that was fun. We're all tied up. Two's across the board too, by the way. Oh, this is scary. Probably not very readable, but once again, you can probably wait uh on the side here. Um, for the ball to fall to the ground. Uh oh, a little scary. Oh, why are none of them defending? What is happening? They're all just wandering in the corner. Oh, they bumped each other. Okay, he's down the field. Let's see what they get get going here. That's a good bump. That's a good bump. Coming for you, Living Cannon. Oh, that's a good demo. It's a great clear too. I'm just, I'm just kind of just chilling. I'm, I'm gonna just like witness this game. It's uh, been a wonder. I mean, I don't feel like we deserve this win. They kind of scored all of our goals. Oh, absolute mess. <laughs> okay, I, I don't really know how to commentate threes right now. This is, this is such a low level that it's really like difficult to know like what to even talk about. 
like what to do. Like you really just gotta hit the ball and get used to the game until you get comfortable. Cause like look at this is just like a complete mess. Oh, oh, bobbin weaving. If they get a, go a shot on target, I'm not gonna save it. Someone needs to go in. Okay, I think we won, <laughs> but I have no idea why or how we got the streak going about three wins in a row. I guess I lost five MMR. Hello. Why am I down MMR? This game's busted. We got another threes game. Uh, I now remember why I went down MMR. So my game actually completely uh, froze on the first game ever in which the 3v3. I just stopped recording. So unfortunately, we are two out of ten. Um, out of our placements in threes, I just like the guy on my the guy on the both guys on my team just completely left the game. So it was just me alone, and so I just left the game. But either way, I froze and all that stuff. It's it's whatever. So we're gonna start off the uh, the third technically the third game of our placements for three v three. That's a great hit. Uh, I'm gonna wait here. It's gonna be a good shot shot opportunity. They just they just left together. This is what happened. This is what happened with the first game. I don't know what to do with this. What am I supposed to do with this? I'm gonna play for this guy. Oh, what a save! I'm playing with this guy because I feel like it's unfair. Okay, I'm gonna go to the net here. So now we're playing. We ended up playing a two v two game somehow. I'm gonna wait here. I'm just gonna wait for the the ball to come towards the net. I'm gonna wait in mid here, see if he pops it. So once I see my team is up on the wall right there, I'm not gonna go for the 50 50. It's too scary. So instead, I'm going to wait for the ball to spill to a good spot for me. And then I'm going to sit behind. I don't, I, it is weird because I am not his teammate, but I am his teammate at the same time. So the way this ball is spilling up, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it to come down and then I'm just driving into it. My teammate would have had that anyway. Wait. Oh, right. I'm own goaling. I was like, why is it not my name? So they have full boost. The ball spills into mid. I can wait for the ball to be in front of the net and then go for the clear. Because you got to keep an eye on where players are as well. Oh, they missed. Good try. My team is off the backboard, so I'm just gonna keep it high. I'll wait for this ball to spill. Go for a touch. They miss. And a finish. I can't tell if this guy's like low-key smurfing or something. Like he's 213 MMR. I feel like that's pretty low. It's a good pop over by Zadrian. I'm gonna wait here. Go to net. That's a great shot. Great finish. So what I could have done differently there, I'm just letting you guys know if you if you are trying to figure out how to defend these, is once you see that bounce, you have to close up, you have to close the positioning. Um, you have to get closer to the ball. Otherwise, you're gonna leave more openings. So the more you can shut shut down the the angles, the better. I'm gonna wait here to see what he does. He pops it forward. Now the ball's in the middle. This guy's chasing it down, but totally fine. He's gonna sit with it. And we scored. Why? Wait. Why is he for? Oh, I'm orange. <laughs> okay, I'll forfeit for them. I'm I'm lost in the sauce. <laughs> I thought Saint Saint Lit or whatever this guy's name is. Like I thought he was forfeiting and I was with him. That's that's how much I believed I was on blue team. He gets plus four MMR with that. Okay. Um, I get minus thirty nine. So not great, but let's do one more. All right, I have Captain Hippo on my team against Ibleed Crimson and Willerex. Um, looks like we're 300 MMR here. And he was moving. Well, this is a problem. This has been the weirdest set of games. Also, Shannon's told me that like, this has been a problem with her too, is that she keeps getting players who just keep leaving or just go AFK. I'm not even sure why. That guy was like, that's a great shot. I don't know what to do here. I think I might just leave. This has been an experience and a half. This has been the weirdest road to SSL so far. Okay, we got Vortec on our team against uh, Willorex and Dad. Um, once again, 300 MMR across the board. So right now we're at 695. I feel like we've uh, gotten a lot of MMR because we're, ooh, we're, we're, the game is trying to like gauge where we should be at the start. Is my teammate AFK again? Is that in their net? <laughs> Why is he just jumping? What's happening? Okay, he's playing now. Oh, I'm just gonna wait here. It's a good challenge. Oh, is he going? 
Oh my god. That was a good read from dad. What's up, dad? I didn't know my dad played this game. Oh, he's getting aggressive. I'm not sure why I'm getting going against 312 MMR players. It feels a bit wrong, considering I'm like, at, like estimated to be 700. Also, Willy Rex is um is at 700 ping. I, I don't know what to say. This has been the weirdest road to SSL so far. There's been like AFKs. There's been even heavier ball chasers. I mean, obviously, like, I don't know if my experience is going to be very different to, uh, like, a new, like, an actual new player coming in. But, like, this has been not the greatest experience as an as a new account. <laughs> See what Vortex does here. It's a good pass, actually. And it's in. This is incredible. I, I don't know. I, I'm just going to play it out. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm just going to sit in mid. That was a great pass in a mid. A good pop. He actually ended up falling it himself. But I think dad scored it. Oh. Oh. There's a shot. I uh, tried to go for an aerial without, like, making it look like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I feel like I just passed it to them. This dad guy's actually got decent tracking. Willorex is struggling with the ping, but... Let's see how this guy does with the, uh, the dribbling. He does get the shot, too. Okay, this guy's not playing too bad. See if dad wants to read this. He's kind of going ahead of the ball, but he might have it. Oh, he's backing up. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, the reads are a bit tough. He's trying to, he's just doing too much backing up there. He actually had a decent 50 50, but it ping pong between both dad and Willorex, unfortunately. This guy has decent dribbles. He's kind of getting a good idea of how to like get near the ball and time it. He definitely seems higher skill than the opponents. I don't know if he's like, he's got a mass of Mune, so he's, he has bought items on this account. So I feel like it is just his account. Oh, good try. That's a good pop down the field too. This could be tough. Does he miss it? Yeah, I think this guy is just like around bronze or silver. But I honestly, I have not, I have not seen this rank in a while, and I, I can't really tell because there's such a wide range of player skill. <laughs> the, the dad jump into the net was incredible. Yeah, like I think Vortec is definitely a, a little bit more skilled than the opponents. Because he's got some decent reads. He has his timing down. He's got the hits. Oh, big miss there, though. Okay, Vortex takes it across. Oh, boy. Oh, land. Oh, stuck the landing. Let's go. Pops off the side. I'm just, once again, I'm just kind of watching all this. That's a crazy pinch. What if we just did this? Oh, I missed. Well, I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. This has been an uh, interesting start. Sorry about the lack of, like, proper commentary. I really don't know what I'm supposed to talk about in these games because it's really just that slow that really if you just play the game more you will get used to touches like for example Vortec is an example of a player who has played the game a little more I feel he's an established 2020 so he's played the game a lot more um probably isn't like a diehard Rocket League player he probably plays quite a bit but um just getting used to the timing of the ball touches it'll make you outshine the opponents uh as you can see basically carried me on his own against these two yeah, just a lot of playtime. That's how you get better at this rank. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. Not the greatest first episode. A lot of messy stuff going on with the game freezing um, and then just immediately dying. Um, but, yep. Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.